The full horror of what has happened in the United States earlier today is now becoming clearer. It is hard even to contemplate the utter carnage and terror which has engulfed so many innocent people. We've offered President Bush and the American people our solidarity, our profound sympathy, and our prayers. But it is plain that citizens of many countries around the world, including Britain, will have been caught up in this terror. As for those that carried out these attacks, there are no adequate words of condemnation. Their barbarism will stand as their shame for all eternity. As I said earlier, this mass terrorism is the new evil in our world. The people who perpetrate it have no regard whatever for the sanctity or value of human life. And we, the democracies of the world, must come together to defeat it and eradicate it. This is not a battle between the United States of America and terrorism, but between the free and democratic world and terrorism. We therefore here in Britain stand shoulder to shoulder with our American friends in this hour of tragedy, and we, like them, will not rest until this evil is driven from our world. The deliberate and deadly attacks which were carried out yesterday against our country were more than acts of terror. They were acts of war. This will require our country to unite in steadfast determination and resolve. Freedom and democracy are under attack. This will be a monumental struggle of good versus evil, but good will prevail. We will find those who did it. We will smoke them out of their holes. We will get them running, and we'll bring them to justice. We will not only deal with the, those who dare attack America, we will, we will deal with those who harbor them and feed them and house them. Make no mistake about it, underneath our, underneath our tears is the strong determination of America to win this war. And we will win it. <laughs>